Hi, it's me again, and it must be a really tough job working as one of the BBC's main news presenters, having to survive on a poultry, where is it, £430,000 a year salary. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. And they obviously don't manage to survive on that because of this headline. Look, BBC's Hugh Edwards paid 25 grand a month for second jobs. Yeah, I mean, if I was only earning £430,000 a year, and probably on a bit of a tax fiddle with some shell company, no doubt, because a lot of them were, weren't they? I don't know if they still are, though. They still do that? Let me know in the comments below. I'd want to get a second job, as well get a paper round or something just to make up the money every month to put on the electric key card meter thing. Yeah, uh, 25 grand a month. So it should make, up the, should make up the difference quite nicely, shouldn't it? One of the Beeb's most famous faces well and truly cashes in on moonlighting with BBC News presenter Hugh Edwards earning at least 25 grand from his second jobs in just one month. The price for these extra jobs varied from around five grand to 10 grand for Edwards, according to the BBC's external events register. Not only did Edwards rank as the top moonlighter in the first three months of the year, but his salary top up in March was also higher than his entire outside earnings in 2021, according to calculations by the Times. Do you remember last year when Nick Knowles got disciplined by the BBC and weren't allowed to do DIY SOS for a while because he was making money being a builder in a Shreddies advert. And the BBC said, you can't use the image that you've gained through the BBC to make money on the side. Well, how was Hugh Edwards getting these speaking engagements? He's only getting the speaking engagements because he's a leading news presenter on the BBC. It's the image he's gained from the BBC. But it's all right for him to do it, but Nick Knowles can't make a couple of grand doing a Shreddies ad, but uh, yeah, Hugh Edwards can make 25 grand in a month. 25 grand in a month, yeah. That'll top up your gas meter, won't it? BBC Today programme presenter Nick Robertson followed close behind, speaking at two events for the Association of Investment Companies in March, taking home anywhere between 5,000 to 10,000 pounds for each day. Again, Nick Knowles can't be a builder in a Shreddies advert because that's an image he'd gained by working at the BBC, Whereas Nick Robinson is okay to speak at the Association of Investment Companies. Even though he does businessy stuff for the BBC. And that's the image that he's gained from the BBC. But that's okay. It doesn't make any sense, does it? I think if you're a big enough, if you know, if you're a big enough name at the BBC, you can pretty much do whatever you want, can't you? I mean, look at Lineker, right? 1.3 million quid a year for doing not much for work. Still gets to do the Walker's ads. Does he still do them? still gets to sell crisps on the side, still can do other presenting jobs for other channels, which he does. One of them was football, wasn't he? He worked with BBC Sport. I don't think he does anymore, though. So the bigger the name you are at the BBC, the more you can get away with, basically, is, is what this said, to the tune of about 25 grand a month at the minute. Uh, tough at the top. Makes my annual salary pretty much in a month. What do you think about this? I mean, I'm not having a dig. If he can earn that... Good for him. I wish I could earn that every month. I've got no problem with that at all. I don't have a big problem with his £430,000 a year BBC salary either. What I have a problem with is that the bigger the name you are, the more you can get away with with the BBC. Whatever happened to the exclusive contracts and not being able to do this stuff? I don't know. And I think it's because it's public money as well, with a salary from the BBC and then them going off and earning money. If there was an ITV or you know a Channel 5 presenter, I couldn't care less. Couldn't care less. But because it's struggling families that are paying their TV licence fees to fund these people to get the image to go off and earn even more money a month from the image that we paid for them to have, not me, and hopefully not you paid for them to have. I don't know. I don't know. It's just another problem with the BBC, isn't it, and the way it's funded. You know, they're never going to win anything with the way it's funded, that everything has to be scrutinised and slagged off because of the way they're funded. The TV licence fee needs to go, and then all these people have an easier ride, won't they? But let me know what you think about this down in the comments below, and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.